protests have intensified as political pressure piles on Benjamin Netanyahu to freeze his judicial reform bill. Netanyahu's plans would give the executive freedom to appoint Supreme Court justices and the parliament the power to overturn their judgments. It's a bill sowing discord within his own government. Prime Minister Netanyahu has decided to fire Defence Minister Yohav Gallant. He announced it a couple of minutes ago. Prime Minister dismissed Gallant after Gallant stood in front of the public in a special announcement made on Saturday in which he called for a halt of the judicial overhaul. On Monday, President Herzog heaped even more pressure on the Prime Minister to freeze the bill. For the sake of the unity of the people of Israel, I call on you to stop the legislative process immediately. Opposition leader Yair Lapid also made a plea to the government and the ruling party to climb down. I call on Israel's government, the Likud, to come to its senses, to stop the legislation and come and talk to us. We don't have to crash, we don't have to fall apart. There are solutions. Monday also saw calls for industrial action causing flights to be suspended out of the country's main airport. The now former defence minister had said that the growing social rift had made its way into the armed forces and security services. Israel heavily depends on reservists to fill the ranks of its forces, but many have refused to work until the reform is scrapped. The country's consul general in New York also resigned on Sunday, saying the time had come to fight for Israel's future. For months, demonstrators have rallied against the judicial overhaul. And on Sunday, protesters chanted shame as they broke through the barriers near Netanyahu's house.